Is there music? <laughs> hello, everyone. I can't hear any music, pero hello, 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 and welcome to another ABC Thursday Thunder Talk Show. My name is Coach Jeff Luzpo. Uh, this is Coach Ron. And guys, this is Professor Sai. Hi, guys. Good evening. How's your day, guys? How's your day? Kamusta po kayo? Kamusta? And this show is powered by the suited advisor, Coach Brian Ordialis. Thank you very much, Coach Brian, for setting this up professionally done. If you guys are looking for right. uh, a virtual director, then and just si Coach Brian para magbigay ng napakagandang parang WWE World Wrestling Federation. Federation. All, All right, right. Good evening, everyone. And, and of course, this uh, this Thursday Thunder is now brought to you by Kumi, Kumi. the healthiest yogurt drink in the world. Makikita niyo po siya sa mga SM malls, makikita mo siya sa mga Ayala malls, and it's and it's ano expanding so fast. Pag wala pa po dyan sa area ninyo, sa mga malls sa area ninyo, magkakaroon na siya in the next few months because they are opening a hundred branches nationwide. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh my God. 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 Coach, actually, madali siyang mahanap. You just go ahead and click your grab Oh, account. yes. And That's right. Nandun siya, nandun siya. If there's a, if you're in Makati, I think meron din sa Mega Mall. So, Coach, uh, and soon in the south area. And we are so oh, excited yes. later. Papa, That's right. That's right. That's right. So if you guys are curious, ano ba tong ano, kumi drink na to? What is this healthy yogurt drink na napakasarap at napaka malinam nam? Oh, tama yung Tagalog ko. Yes, malinam <laughs> All you need to do is just go to your Grab app and then search mo lang, you know, Grab Food and then Kumi and then order and taste it pag hindi mo pa natitikman. Ang maganda dyan sa Kumi, guys, it helps you build muscles. Wow. Oh, See, yogurt. Grabe. Oh, yes. Pagkakamay muscles mo, Coach. Oh, yeah, sample, yeah, sample, 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 coach. Oh, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> you know? Fantastic. It helps you burn fat at the same time. Kaya excited na ako yeah, because na like recently lang natin na-discovered. <laughs> recently lang natin na-discovered si Kumi and it helps you burn fat and it contains a fair amount of protein that will help you become fuller for a longer time. Okay? It helps oh. you with your diet. Oh my okay, favorite gosh. Ko talaga, favorite ko talaga ang yogurt coach eh. Diba? Kasi lumaki yeah. tayo with Yakult. Yakult. Right, right, right. You right. know how healthy it is. Pero That's itong right. kumi, it's, it's like a notch higher than that. Diba? So, mamaya, bigyan na nikin ng details. What's yeah. oh, happening yes. in the world. That's right. That's right. Sino na ba nakatikim sa inyo dito ng kumi? Please indicate dito. Hashtag kumi. If you were able to taste kumi drink already, Diyan sa area ninyo or nakapag-order na kayo ng grab, i-hashtag mo lang po dito. Hashtag Kumi. Kumi. Right? So, i-ano nyo lang po dyan. Indicate nyo lang po dyan. And soon, maglalabas uh, din tayo ng promo. Papadala tayo ng Kumi sa bahay nila. Oh di ba? Yun. In, uh, later yeah. episodes. Kaya pwede, makinig pwede. po kayo. Tikman nyo po. And uh, it's going to be super amazing. Kasi ano, uh, one of the fastest uh, health drink na siya dito sa Philippines. It's opening left and right nationwide and madadala ma order mo pa siya via grab oh fantastic oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes and we have a very interesting topic for tonight but before that batiin muna natin yung mga mga ano natin mga friends natin from the industry go oh, ahead yes. hello 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 financial advisors we are back and we just want to say hi please type in proud sun life or if you're from sun life yeah and yeah, if you're from the yellow company, and of course, if you're from the red company, please say proud film lifer or proud pro lifer. And ano pa, coaches, yung green company. Green company, yeah. The green company, of course, na, di ba? Say, I want to say hi to uh, Coach Ayet. Coach Ayet, um, shout diba? out. Yeah, sa mga and your team. Ano natin, and proud Mando lifers. Natin. Mando lifers. From Mando Life, please type in proud Mando lifer. And also, yung green company na life, pero hindi siya life insurance, yung Ayun. Oo. Herbalife. Yung favorite ni ah. Coach Ron, na hanggang oh. ngayon, hindi pa rin. Hindi pa din, nag-sponsor. Hindi oh. pa tayo siya sponsor oh. <laughs> oh. Pero that's... Nauna pa si Kumi. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Tsaka of course, Coco Life, nandiyan din. Uh, friends also with the blue companies, di ba? Allianz. Allianz. Uh, Allianz and also... 
um, ano AXA. coach yung AXA, diba? AXA. Yan, 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 yan. And uh, also, of course, yung mga multicolored companies natin, BDO Life and uh, Insular Life. Life. Hello, fantastic yeah, people. Speaking of Insular Insular Life, shout out to the to their agency leaders, si Ma'am Remy Veloria and si Sir EJ Veloria for signing up fantastic. with uh, ABCXTT. So guys, congratulations. Welcome to our wow. uh, tax compliance community. Shout out oh, to yes. uh, Sir EJ and Ma'am Remy Veloria. Right, right, right. right. Say, no? This has been, ano, the the CTC has been, ano, ano talaga rippling, may ripple yes. effect, man, no? so, Yes. Yes. And we were able to, ano, we were able to help a lot of financial advisors, na maasikaso talaga yung taxes nila, kasi correct, correct. it has been a perennial challenge for yeah. a lot of financial advisors. Kami ni Coach Ron, we've been in the industry for 20 years, and it has been really challenging yeah. for financial advisors. Na every year na lang. Makikipagsapalaran lagi tayo yeah. in filing taxes, di ba? April 15, mm-hmm. nagahabulan lagi. Tapos yung pala, may penalty dahil hindi ka nakapag-file quarterly. Yeah. But this time, we gave a lot of financial advisors the convenience and peace of mind na wala ka nang problemahin sa taxes. Para kang empleyado, tapos cellphone lang ang gamit. If you want to right. discover that, then we have a session this coming Saturday. Attend po kayo that 6.30. Saturday. Mami, introduce yan ni ano. Uh, ni Professor Sang. Yun. Yan. Pero okay. for the meantime, Coach, no, para mas marami tayong matulungan, no, if you're listening and if you have a friend, a financial advisor na you think that, you know, uh, should be listening to us, yan, tag nyo po sila. Tag nyo po oh, sila yes. dun sa comment section para they can, you know, uh, they can listen to us. Kasi very, very, ano, uh, fantastic yung, ano natin, topic natin today, Coach. Very timely, Coach. Very, very timely. timely. Oh, very, very timely. Very timely. And this is really all about how to increase your net worth. Yan. Ano nga bang net worth? Net worth hindi net worth. No? Ano ba net? Ano ibig sabihin ng net worth, Coach Jeff? Okay. Yung net worth ninyo is really... Tatanungin natin si Professor Sai. <laughs> okay. Sige, sige. Pag sinabi kasi, kasi natin... Yun, yun, ano, eh. Oo. Okay. Sana, si Professor Sai dapat... Ano, out, uh, technical Kapo. dapat. Oo. Oh, ano oh. naman eh. If we're going to just simply use a layman's term, it's, it's your total assets minus whatever liabilities that you have. Liabilities sa banko, like mortgages, liabilities sa mga suppliers mo or friends, like yung mga utang na tinatawag, and whatever is left, tinatawag nating net assets mo. That's actually your okay. net worth. Yan. Kaya, oh, nice. kaya, kaya maraming tayo mga kaibigan na di may appear na, uy, bago na naman yung gamit mo. Uy, bago na naman right. yung bahay nyo. Uy, bago na naman yung appliance mo. Pero pag kinuha mo lahat ang figures, lumalabas, Negative pa yung Negative kanilang pa. net worth. No? Oh. Kasi, kasi, kasi mas malaki pa yung kanilang ano, utang kaysa sa kanilang. Utang. Ano. Oh. Yes. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a lot of these properties. Pero pag nakautang pa yan, it does not necessarily mean na yun na yung net worth mo. Tama ba, correct. Professor? Correct po. Correct po. Correct po. And I like yung sinabi ng isang kaibigan kong Chinese. Alam mo, Professor Sai, when I took the MBA... I realize, and dami-dami palang klase yung mga, mga utang or debts. But in reality, there are only two types of debts. The good ones and the bad okay. ones. The good ones, Tama. kaya ka mo umuutang to increase your net worth. Mm. The bad ones, kaya ka umuutang kasi out of once lang, gusto mo lang siya. But in actuality, it lowers your net worth. Kasi lumalaki Ooh. yung ulang mo eh. Hindi siya, hindi siya bumabalik in short. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 I agree. I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. So, coaches. So tonight we're gonna we're gonna give them um, insights, de ba? On ano ba yung kailangan natin magfocus para we can increase our your net worth Yun. as fast as possible. Yun. And uh, you know, para at least ito yung mga magiging foundation mo on how to coach your clients. And not only that. Yung may apply natin sa sarili natin. Tama yeah. ba, Prof? Uh, that's, that, that's, that's really the best thing. Sabi nga natin, sabi nga natin yeah. sa ABC, guys, you want to be good with what you're doing? Start hmm. first with yourself. Tama, tama. It's very important. Ako, I always believe that you should be your first VIP client. Fantastic. Diba? I could type agree po more. dito sa sure. comment section, I am my first VIP client. Type nyo po you? dito sa comment section para uh-huh. hindi nyo makalimutan. I am uh-huh. my first VIP, VIP client. client. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, ganda, so game ganda. na tayo, game na tayo, coaches. So let's, uh, uh, you know, I'm, um, uh, um, based on, oh no, based on research, uh, there are actually five things on, oh no, ito yung mga, ito yung mga factors where we can look at 
para para we can ano, increase our net worth okay ng permanently no? so number one. number one, na sabi dito we can look at our investing strategies wow Ayan. investing strategies so when you say investing strategies you know we we mean by that is and how ano ba yung mga investment vehicles na na ano na pinag-iinvestan natin um, do we go for ano kasi the easiest way to to increase your net worth is to buy cash ng ng ano ng uh, re, na, real estate tama ba no prof mm. no yep uh, that's the easiest way eh. pero eh, you know it's not the to be nothing popular uh, because it's not really liquid diba? it's really something that yeah it will increase pero pag hindi balance eh, tama ba pag hindi balance eh, yung ano mo yung puro properties na lang di ba medyo delikado pa rin so kailangan Correct. talaga mayroon kang strategy and let's share uh, aside from real estate investing ano pa ba yung mga investment portfolios na pwede natin i-suggest natin uh, the things that um, another suggestion na pwede di ba madalas kasi iniisip nila properties right laging ganyan and, traditionally talaga oh, laging. tayo traditionally. mga Filipinos laging properties ay oh. ay, ay, ay Right, traditionally properties talaga. For example, may dumating na malaking uh, cash flow sa yo. Whatever it is, kung you were able to close a big sale or a big deal or a bonus or signing bonus, whatever it is, usually they put ang lalagay ko na lang to sa properties. Kaysa sa ano, kaysa sa sa matulog lang sa bank, di ba? Correct. But you can also use it in different ways. Uh, one of which would be a business passive income for you. What do you mean by business passive income? For example, meron kang capital. Instead of uh, purchasing another property na most likely baka nagawa mo na in the past, right? You can also invest in other people's businesses. And you can invest, nagkakaroon ka ng passive income through that business. So pwede rin yun. For example, mm, okay. meron kang kaibigan, mag- nakita mo, thriving yung business niya. And he's open, you know, for you to invest in sa company niya. If you do that, then you then you earn, you you participate in in those shares, in those earnings. Na nagiging business passive income sa you because the whole objective of increasing your net worth eventually is nagiging optional na lang na magtrabaho ka. Merong yeah, business passive it, income it. na pumapasok sa you every single month na kahit hindi ka magtrabaho, oh my gosh, wala kang worries. Right? At yun ang, right. Uh, yun ang ginagawa ngayon namin, kami mga ABC coaches, si Professor Sai, si Coach Ron, ako, we're now looking at different ways on how to have that business passive income to eventually increase our net worth. Yan. Kasi mahirap naman na puro, puro utang. Puro, pass. Tsaka puro diba? passive income. That's right. Ah. Diba? Mahirap naman. So, you have to diversify in different areas. And one of which is, yes, you can invest in properties. You can even invest in, ano, in apartments. So, instead of just buying ano, the usual condo, diba? and then papa rent out mo, isang pintu lang yun. Correct. Tama ba? Correct. That's just one door. So, you might as well, kasi pag umalis yan, wala na. Wala na. <laughs> just like what happened to a financial advisor na kaibigan din natin, na bumili siya ng condo, pinaparent out niya. The problem is, ano, umalis yung nagre-rent sa kanya. Yung kanyang so, tenant. Uh-huh. O, ang problema, di bumili siya ng condo, di ba? Pinaparent out niya. Siyempre, yung monthly. So, yung, yung monthly amortization. Oh, monthly. So, it is now paying for itself. So, naisip niya, hey, this is a good idea. I'm gonna get another condo. Bumili ulit siya ng isang ng condo. Tapos okay. naghahanap siya. Eh, nagkataon, yung nagre-rent sa first condo niya, umalis. Pat- paktay. Paktay. <laughs> oh, dalawa na ngayon yung binabayaran niya in overwhelm siya. So it becomes a problem now and, he, and that person was forced to sell the the ano, one ano, one property ng palugi. Yo, diba? Because yo. hindi niya na anticipate. So the best thing if you're thinking of, you know, if you're thinking of investments, investing later on, diba? And you're thinking of that investing strategy. Instead of going for a condo na hindi mo rin naman titirhan, you go for apartments na maraming pinto. Diba? For example, that's 10 doors. If you have 10 doors, mayroong mga nagre-rent out, 
then you, you, you nagiging business passive income din siya. Correct. So naka-diversify diba? in short. Okay. Ah, di- di- diversify ba? Yeah. You have to diversify. That's right. Diversify din siya. Diversify. So there are a lot of ways. So you have to think of, you know, you go back to the drawing table and take a look at different areas kung saan ka pwede mag-invest and ma-diversify mo para later on ma-increase mo yung net worth mo na you're earning through dividends, you're earning through income, left and right, nandito na lahat because of, you know, nag accumulate na hindi ka na ng problema. And that's the whole goal. Diba? Pero mamaya, i-discuss din natin paano mo ma-achieve na meron kang ganong klaseng cash flow yeah. na makaka-invest ka oh, sa different ito. areas. Tama, tama. Kasi mag- madali magsabi na mag-invest ka sa ganito, sa ganito. Pero yan tanong, ano yung pang-invest? <laughs> yun, may cash ba ako? Oo, oh, oh, tama, tama, diba? tama ba? Oh. Pero uh, right. yun ang pag-usapan natin. Yun ang pag-usapan natin. Yes, okay, okay. kasi may hirap naman. Sige, go ahead, go Tron. Okay, may dadagdag ka pa, Prof. Sai? Okay. In, in, in terms of investment po kasi, everything would start first with active income. Ibig sabihin, lahat po tayo, pwede nag-start na tayo as empleyado. Uh, ang, yun nga lang po, tayo bilang mga empleyado, it, it would still boil down to what we call money behavior. Eh. Coach Jeff, Coach Ron. Diba? Kasi kahit naman right. executive ka, sumisweldo ko ng 200,000 sa isang buwan, pero ang gastos mo naman is 190, 180, hindi ka rin masyado nakakapag-save. Actually, it's an opportunity for you to be able to earn certain money and eventually invest that. Kasi doon ko na intindihan yun eh, na kahit ang laki ng kinikita natin, pag sumasabay din yung gastos natin, di ba yung ating standard of living? Di ba? Yeah, right. Tama. Sumabay kasi yung standard of living natin, yung net worth natin, hindi talaga tataas ng ganong kalaki. Kung baga, sabi nga nung, right. nung VIP ko na Kliyente, alam mo, Prof. Sai, it's not how much I earn, it's how much I save that makes me a millionaire. Kasi kahit, oh, kumita, ako ng, kahit kumita ako ng isang milyon sang araw, eh kung gumastos din naman ako ng almost one million, at the end of the day, I'm still poor. Yan, sabi ko nga. Po. Right. right. It makes a lot of sense. Lumalabas, Correct. Professor, liquidity is king, especially in Correct. these times. Hmm? Correct. Liquidity is king. Cash wow. flow is king. Okay. Cash yeah. flow is king. Yeah. Tama po, That's tama right. po. I love that. And ang maganda rin dyan, Professor, hmm. pag properly invested yung pera mo, you will never run out of liquidity kasi pumapasok hmm. every month. Correct. Di ba? Tama yung sinabi ni Professor, it will all start with your active income. Na eventually, magiging passive income na hindi ka na problema sa liquidity mo. Right? Correct. Yan. Pero excited ako kasi maraming mga financial advisors na nagtatanong ngayon sa isip nila, Paano ko gagawin? I'm looking at my drawing board. Kasi wala akong pera. <laughs> yeah. Ang daming opportunities, Uh-oh. left and right, na hindi ko magawa. Right? Mm-hmm. So, let's Which, start ano, with the... Right. Which yeah, goes to our next point, Coach Jeff. No? Ang next mm-hmm. na kailangan natin gawin. So, first time talaga is, we have to have a strategy. Tama? Strategy. Okay. Yeah, there has to be a plan. A But plan. second, ang kailangan ng approach natin dito is we have to invest consistently. Tama ba? Consistently. So dito na pumapasok, coaches, yung, ano, yung, 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 yung money habits natin. Tama ba? And uh, the way we invest, kailangan talaga with discipline. Um, akala natin, you know, one-time thing where we invested once. Uh, na kahit mababa yan. Kasi sometimes, yun, yun ang dalawang ano eh, di ba? School of thought, coaches yeah. eh. Correct, correct. Kung bilibili ako ng mas mababa, then I'll just dump it there and wait for it. Or, whether mataas yan or mababa, I'll build my habits consistently. Tama ba? I, th- I don't think may talo ka dun. Correct. I don't think may talo ka dun. Kasi remember, those are habits na hindi mapapalitan. Diba? Pwede kasing one time ka lang nag-invest, pero mas marami kang bad habits na ginagawa. Oo. Diba? Tama ba? In uh-huh. basis ka lang, nag-invest ka ng 1 million, pero all throughout, diba, gastos ka naman ng gastos. Right, very, right, very right. important yung consistency. Consistency is king also pagdating sa, in, ano, sa if you want to increase your network. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's your take so, on lumalabas, that? Lumalabas, Coach Ron and Professor Sai, you should not in, you should not spend on things that has nothing to do with your goals. Tama ba? Correct. Right? 
don't spend on things that you know that has nothing to do with your goals. So if you want to increase that high yung net worth mo, you want to increase that passive. Oh, mm-hmm. ang sarap ng iniinom mo. Mm-hmm. Ang sarap, Coach wow. Chef. Is Coach that Kumi? This is Kumi. Yeah, shout out to oh. BMJV. Hi, BMJV. Yeah. Hello, BMJV. Yeah. Fantastic, Kumi. fantastic. Yeah. Wow. The healthiest drink right yan. now in the market. Yeah. Fantastic. Parang a few minutes ka lang umorder, dumating na agad. Yes. That's By a gram. About, yeah, that's the good thing about Kumi. It's uh, readily available. Oh, that's amazing. Anong flavor niyan, Professor? Mango. Love the mango. Oh, it's a mango. mango. So, ibig wow, sabihin. Wow, Kumi. Yes, oh, Kumi, guys. Oh, okay. By the way, for everybody's information, Kumi is an Australian brand. So, ano yan? It's number one in Australia. Pinipilihan, pinipilahan talaga yan. But when one of our good friends... Uh, is nag-franchise ng Kumi and, and then in-spread that on niya dito sa, sa Philippines, ang nangyari, ginawa rin nilang nagkaroon din sila ng mga Filipino flavors no? to fit the Philippine culture. That's amazing. Grabe. Fantastic. Uh, fantastic I, drink, I, I Coach. Yes, fantastic drink. I think this will, uh-huh. ano, Coach, eh, ito yung the healthier alternative to milk tea. Kasi alam naman natin, oh, yes. milk tea, medyo, di ba, uh, hmm. calories and sugar, medyo madami right. Yes. Uh, though it tastes really good, pero I think ito. Uh, tsaka yung base kasi niya is avocado. Ako favorite yan, Coach. Eh. Avocado. I'll try. I'll try ko naman yan mango. next time. Mango. Oh. Though sa ibang tao, ang, ang, ang pronunciation ang nila ng mango, mango. Mango. Huwag po kayong order ng, pero po kayong mango. It's mango. Okay po ba yan? mango. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, tama, okay, okay. tama, tama. So, balik tayo sa, dun sa topic natin. Yep. So, it's extremely important, guys, Now, the first step is to assess your habits muna. Yung, high, yung, you know, increasing your net worth, madali yan if you have the right foundation, you have the right habits. Alam mo kung paano mo gawin. So, you have to understand first your money behavior. You talk to yourself. Ano bang money behavior ko? What did I do? Ano bang ginagawa pa ako? If you don't know your money behavior yet, this is what you can do. For the next 30 days, mag-download kayo ng tracking app, expense tracker. Whatever it is, marami. There are hundreds of expense trackers on your cell phone na pwede mo i-download. And you track your habits for the next, you know, kahit 21 days lang. For the next 21 days, track your habits. Lahat ng piso na lalabas doon sa, sa ano mo, doon sa wallet mo, or sa mga digital bank accounts mo, sa online accounts mo, you know, track it. And then, tingnan mo, after 21 days, you take a look at your habits, then, saan ka ba madalas nag-suspend? Ano ba, saan ba nag-lead right. yung money habits mo? Diba? Does it lead to a lot of leisure activities? Does it lead to gadgets or clothes? Mm-hmm. Does it lead to food? Or does it lead uh-huh. to a lot of obligations na kailangan mong bayaran? Kailangan mong itrack. That's the first step. You have to understand your money habits. Or, baka dumadagdag ng dumadagdag yung credit card debt mo na hindi mo na malayan, nag-balloon na, hindi mo na kayang bayaran in full. Yon. Pwede rin yan. Uh-huh. Right? Meron din akong kaibigan, Professor Sai, tsaka Coach Ron. Kaya naman yung bayaran ng credit card niya. Pero madalas niyang nakakalimutan bayaran on time. Nako. May interest na may penalty pa. Right. So by the time na maalala niya na kailangan ko magbayad ng credit card, meron ng penalties. Diba? So nagbabayad. And you know, kailangan ma-recognize mo talaga what, what kind of money behavior do I have? Because if you can assess that, that is the first step para maunti-unti mong makorek yung habit na yan, replace it with new habits, and then makorek mo yung in- increasing that high net worth. Yeah. yeah. So in short, coach, no, yung binabanggit kasi ni, ni Coach Jeff is really foundational. Tama? Right. Uh, you know, there we can give you, you know, a couple of solid, ano eh, solid things to do on how to increase your net worth. Pero if you fail on, if you fail to do the foundational, you will definitely, ano, medyo hindi siya magiging permanent, no, coach. So it's very, very important. You have to have that per, ano. All yung ginasinasabi ni Coach Chef kanina, what ibig sabihin nun, you have to measure it because if it's if it can be measured, it can be improved. Diba? So if it's if if it can be measured, it can be improved. Ako, Coach, meron akong ano eh, strategy eh. Uh, ang ginagawa ko, 
effective to sa mga magagastos. Okay? Sige nga, Coach. Let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yung mga kawari, mahilig mag Lazada, mag-add to cart. Di ba? Happy birthday, Lazada. Yung mga add to the cart na. Yan, di ba? So, if you're struggling na feeling mo mas marami lumalabas, you challenge yourself. You challenge yourself like this. Lahat ng lalabas sa akin, papalitan ko yan. Ibig sabihin, kawari, gumastos ka ng 10,000 sa Lazada this month. Kailangan, bago mo desisyonan yun, <coughs> kailangan mo yun tapatan ng 10,000 na to be invested in stocks or mutual funds. Yun. Ganda nun ah. Na yung tipong ano, oo. oo. At the end yan, of ha? the Ganda. year, at the end of the year, Prof. Sai, even if you spent what, 120,000 on Lazada or di ba, any, any spending, alam mo hmm. na nagpabi ka din ng same amount. Pero yun. That's amazing. That's a yun, good habit. Yun, tumalaki. Eh. Oo. 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 That's a good habit na parang parang pag sinabi mo I want to buy that ano latest iPhone 12 tama di ba pero nakita mo yung price it's 60,000 pesos oh. so anong iipunin mo 120,000 so tama. that you can buy it oh so kung meron ka nang ano 60,000 op oh, wag muna wag muna kulang pa kulang pa yun right 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 tama 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 that's amazing fantastic, oh nag-comment nga pala Uh, uh, BMJV is watching us right now. Ang favorite Kumi brand niya is Cashew. Yung flavor yeah. pala. Kumi shout flavor. Out, shout out, Coach uh, shout BMJV. Shout out tayo kay BMJV. Yeah. Love the Kumi drink. Fantastic. Thank you very much for introducing Kumi to us. Oh, man. Excited na ako magkaroon dito sa Kabiti. Ayun, no? Oh, my gosh. Excited na ako. So, para, ano, para matikman ng mga... Taga-South. Uh, Taga-South, yeah. Uh, kasi kami mga millennials, favorite talaga namin. <laughs> Ayun. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, next tayo, Coach. Next uh, number, tayo, three, coach. number three. Number three. Number three. Number, number three. three. Ito, very... Uh, this is really something na... Um, ano ba? Kailangan talaga gawin to if you really want to increase your, your net worth. You have to invest in acquiring high income skills. Wow. Investing in your high income skills. Okay. So when you say high income skills, what do we mean by that, Coach Jeff? No? What we mean by that, basically, it's really, number one, ano ba yung, ano ba yung isang skill na kayang magpa-increase ng, ng net worth mo? It's really all about sales. Sales. Tama ba? Right. Especially if you're Correct. a financial sales. advisor. Oh. You're, diba, especially if you're a financial advisor, you you focus on your strength. Focusing on your strength would lead to diba, being better at that. Diba? So, na-identify na natin yung trabaho natin. Eh. Diba? Sabi nga ni BMJV, diba? nandito naman si BMJV, diba? which is lagi niyang kinukoin to. Diba? Gagawin mo na nga lang din. Galingan mo na. Galingan mo na. Diba? I love That's that. Excellence. Mm. Kasi remember, excellence is attitude. Diba? So very very important that you have to um, you have to determine okay hey, what's my what's my ano what's my what's one skill that gives me the, the ano the highest income yeah. determine eh, may determine na natin yan eh it's really sales tama ba right and um, and before syempre para makabenta tayo you have to what um, make sure that diba na, na nabibigyan natin ng acquired knowledge expertise You have to invest really on learning. Tama ba, Coach? And then, yes. Coach Ron, one word, structure. Guys, you have to have structure. Kasi hindi pa pwede yung puro motivation lang eh. I mean, motivation helps us to start. Tama. But structure would help you to sustain. Nice. That's right. That's right. I like that. I like And that. Uh, no, you have to accept the fact that everybody is a salesperson. Kahit sabihin mo na, hey, I'm not a salesperson. I won't be good in sales. Or introvert ako. I'm not good in talking to people. Remember, guys, selling is a skill. It's just like learning how to ride. It's just like learning how to ride a bike. It is the same thing with sales. You just need to know the right tools, the right techniques on how to do it properly, and you're on your way to that, you know, uh, having that high income potential skills. So, yeah, very important, yan. Oh, nandito na nga pala ang ating ano. Uh, meron tayong special guest pala dito, Coach Ron and Professor oh. Sai. Okay. Special ba yan? Special? Special. Oh, mukhang meron na naman tayong uh, tinatawag nating special report. Special. Special. Tawagin na natin yung mag-i-introduce ng uh, 
special report na to, walang iba kundi si Brando Braganza, ginawa ng Diyos pang romansa. Kaso wala music ko, Coach Ron. <laughs> Nasa na. Ibang music yan, Coach Ron. Bigyan mo naman ako ng napaka tuma, ano, napaka titillating titillating music ni Brando Braganza. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ang tagal. Introduce ko na nga si yung ating tactical investor. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Nakikinig na naman kayo sa special report natin ngayong gabi. Walang iba kundi magbibigay sa inyo ng financial market updates. Of course, brought to you by Kumi, the healthiest energy drink. Walang iba kundi si Coach Mike! Go okay. ahead, Coach Mike! Good evening, Coach Mike! Good evening, Prof. Sai, Coach Jeff, Coach Ron. Thank you very much for having me again tonight. Uh, Prof. Sai, ang sarap ng kumi. Ang mo. sarap talaga, Prof. <laughs> My favorite. Love it. Yung... Mango flavor. My favorite. Mm-hmm. Ang favorite ko yung purple rice. Purple so, rice. Wow! Yun wow. naman ang favorite mo, Coach Mike. Huh? That's yes. amazing. Uh, hi pa pala uh, kay BMJV. Thank you for uh, being our sponsor tonight. Alam mo, paborito ng mga anak ko yan at saka ng asawa. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Love it, Coach Mike. All right. All right. That's what. That's what. That's what. Yan, yan, po ang, yan po ang dinododo ng anak ko. <laughs> pwede naman, di ba? Pwede, pwede. Di ba? Pwede. Masarap na, healthy pa. Yes, it's really healthy. Uh, kasi, yeah. alam mo, syempre gawa sa yogurt. And it's not really that uh, wala naman siyang caffeine, wala naman siyang ano eh, very addictive yeah. properties. Pero very healthy. Very healthy. Uh, yogurt, siyempre. <laughs> Alam naman natin na masarap ang yogurt. Yep. Right, right, right. Right. So tonight, for our PSEI report, our market updates, you know, it's been a good week for the PSEI as wow. we rallied 2.3% for the week. The PSEI closed at 5, 6,581 up by 1.3% despite the rising infection. So wow. speaking of which, we have it another new high of 8,773. So akala natin bumababa na yung cases since nagbubble but unfortunately that's not the case. Now the BSD announced this afternoon that the interest rates will remain steady at 2% despite their projections that inflation will go higher than it is projected. It is actually projected to be at 4.2% for the end of the year. But next year, they're eyeing at a 2.8% target. 10-year treasury yields close at 4.46. So, medyo nag-react positively. Looks like uh, the, the uh, bond investors aren't eyeing this also because they were, they were expecting a hike in interest rates. Now, Uh, the U.S. dollar closed at 48.58. And the good news is that because of the lockdowns, oil prices are going down from wow. a high of $70 per barrel. Now it's at around $63. Pero alam nyo, mag-ingat pa rin tayo. Because alam nyo, lalo na kung pupunta kayo sa Tagaytay kasi mukhang magsasabog daw ito ilit. Now I just have to share, I just wanted to share something. Oh. Guys, the virus is getting more aggressive. And if you have Any business go, no business going out. Just stay at home. Because I have a client whose husband just passed away, but unfortunately, I was not able to insure him. Yung wife niya yung uh, nakainsure. No, mm, okay. he's not with our Lord, but he left with a child and a pregnant wife. So guys, you know this is very very uh, challenging, ano? Challenging talaga and um, medyo na lulung ko tayo ngayon kasi nga uh, hindi ko na tulungan. You know, uh, buntis pa yung asawa niya. Uh, so yun, parang uh, this is one of the jobs that we have to do. Eh. We really have to inform people, educate people, especially in the situation right now. Yes, to be able to help them. Yes, exactly. And as uh, financial advisors and all of my fellow financial advisors out there, you know, guys, it's our mission you know, to help these people. Especially yung mga, lalo na ngayon, yung mga frontliners, they are definitely, mm-hmm. kailangan-kailangan nila kasi may mga pamilya sila. So right. I wish that you can also 
continue our job despite all the rejections that you're having. Uh, continue lang tayo, laban lang. You know? So Thank that's you very amazing, much for that. amazing. Thank you very much. Fantastic, okay, fantastic. Palakpa naman you, natin si Coach Mike for that wonderful update. Grabe, nakakatakot na talaga no? Tumaas na yung cases. Laban tayo, laban. Laban, laban lang, guys. Laban oh. lang. Very, very important po yan. Now, thank you very much. If you guys would like to be mentored by Coach Mike, so meron tayong one-year mentorship program with Coach Mike para maturuan ka niya when it comes to financial markets, maturuan ka niya when it comes to how to position your yung funds, kung stocks ba, kung bonds ba, saan ko ba ilalagay yung pera ng client ko, matuturuan ka niya when to switch funds, how to understand the financial markets dito sa Philippines, sa U.S. economy, receive 365 days of daily market updates researched for you. If you guys are interested for that mentoring program with Coach Mike, then all you need to do is just send us a message and then we will give you the details on how to become a member of the Tactical Investing Group. Thank you very much, Coach Mike, for Thank being you, Coach here. Mike. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. Thank you, we'll guys. see you again. See you. All right. All right. So, oh, okay, yes. Okay. So let's wait. Yeah, so going back, coaches, um, ang next na, ano, next na, um, sabihin natin factor that we can, we can take a look at if we want to increase our ano, ang net worth natin is we have to invest in our strength. We have to invest in our strength. Uh, kanina, Coach, di ba, uh, offline, we were ta actually talking about di ba, yung really knowing our strengths. Tama ba? Correct. Because it's really, really important, right? Because you might be... Most people, um, they finish their employment uh, working, you know, working for other people's dreams. Tama ba? You know, right, right, um, right. Nag-retire na lang sila, pero pag tinanong mo, hindi talaga sila nag-enjoy sa pagtatrabaho. Um, some may have high income, pero since wala sila doon, they're not really working on diba, maximizing their strength. They can, they can easily be burned out. Yun. Tama stress. So, yeah. Coach Rod, stress. Oh, stressful, stressful. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot mm -hmm. of friends na ganyan, no, Coach, no, na hindi pong malaki kumita, yeah. pero... Pero stress. Oh, oh stressful, di ba? So right. it's really a balance of trying to find the high income potential mo dun sa strength mo. Kasi minsan we get the high income pero not really yung passion natin or yung strength natin. Mm. What do you say about that, Coach? Right, right, right. And there will be yeah. there will be times then that you have to accept the fact na it could be a stepping stone for you to use it. Para ma enjoy mo yung buhay mo later on. Pwede rin yun. I agree. Correct. Right. Pwede rin yun. For example, maaring nasa trabaho ka ngayon na hindi mo gusto. Kunari, financial advisor ka. Pero hindi mo talaga type na maging financial advisor. Halimbawa, type mo maging ano, mag-set up ng mga traditional businesses and just manage. Di ba? Yung mga laundry shop or mga kung ano-ano. Pero wala kang choice kung di gusto mo maging financial advisor. Di ba? Para makarating ka doon, kailangan mo magtrabaho ng maigi. That's also another ano, another option for you. Or pwedeng coach, nilagay siya doon ni Lord para ma-develop yung skills niya. Yes. To be a better salesperson. That's Correct. right. Diba? Correct. Which is a That's good right. diba? foundation yes. for a businessman. Ano yan eh. The Lord will... Yeah. Kung baga pag may pinagdasal ka kasi, hindi naman ibibigay ni Lord outright yun. Yeah. Diba? Huwag sumunan ng maraming cash. Hindi ka naman ibibigay ng maraming cash eh. But... Either bigyan ka ng situation or opportunity for you to be able to achieve that objective or dream. Only, oh, it's just that Coach Ron, Coach Chef, a lot of people, hindi nila kasi nare-realize kagad yun eh. Ako nga, you know, there's another thing I've realized katong pandemic. Problems are opportunities. And whenever there are problems, kasama na ngayon sa panalangin ko every morning, Lord, thank you for this problem, thank you for these challenges because these are opportunities. To be able to help, de ba? Because sometimes we would be hearing, we would be hearing from our fellow business persons, business people, advisors. Problem na naman yung client ko, nereject na naman ako, de ba? Problem na naman yung client ko, masakit, masama yung loob sa akin, kasi hindi niya nagusto yung investment na pinakita ko. I mean, those are problems, but I realize those are also opportunities. Either to improve what I am doing. 
or to be able to help a lot of people. Just like what we're doing with the uh, uh, CTC, Closing to Compliance. Sa right. totoo lang, puro problema talaga yung pinag-uusapan every morning. <laughs> Sabi nga ng mga tax associates, sir, sumasok ito yung ulo ko dun sa problema ng isang advisor, ang laki-laki ng penalty yeah. with BIR. Then I realized, sabi ko, di ka ba natutuwa? Maraming problema. Ibig sabihin, maraming opportunity for us to help. Nice. Yeah, and, yes. that's why, and that's why we're here. That's why we're right. here. That's yeah. right. Oh, right. Though, that's very ano, stressful talaga yun, no, coaches. Pero, correct, correct. I mean, mm-hmm. somebody, somebody has to take the job. You know? Correct. Yeah. Uh, and we are, hindi tayo, hindi lahat kasi built to do that. So, mm-hmm. if you're put in a situation na talagang, alam mo yun, solid ka, di ba, kahit anong ibigay sa'yo, oh. nandun ka pa din, talagang right. magaling ka talaga. Another thing na kailangan nyo rin gawin, guys, is look for a job na scalable. Na I love that. Oh, magtatrabaho ka na rin lang na sobra-sobra, ibibigay mo lahat, puso, kaluluwa mo, mind mo, lahat, bibigay mo, you're gonna be hardworking. You might as well take a job na scalable siya in terms of yung income. Right? Kasi marami namang masisipag eh. Meron akong kilala, tatlo yung trabaho. Sa umaga, ano siya, uh, na tumutulong sa pag, ano, sa pag buy and sell. Okay. Pagdating sa hapon naman, meron siyang part-time work as a call center agent. Pagdating wow. sa gabi, nagsisecurity guard pa. Kasi Sobrang ano? sipag. Tatlo ang trabaho niya kasi nga, naisip niya, Hindi ka siya yung isang trabaho eh. Kailangan ko mag-accept kasi yung ibang trabaho ko, contractual. Sobrang sipag. Working 12 hours every day. The problem is, hindi scalable. Di ba? So very important guys, ang maganda sa pagiging financial advisor, your job is scalable. Your income is scalable. You can actually build an empire here. Meron tayong kilala, mm-hmm. Professor Sai and Coach Ron. Ah... Uh, Ano, na it was so fast na millennial siya in just three to four years, grabe na yung kanyang income. He's earning more oh than five God. million every month. Wow! Meron din, yeah. Think, ano? Five, five million, million every month. Five million Fantastic. per month. Meron din tayong kilala na nabuild na niya yung empire niya and just last year, he earned close to two billion pesos. Wow! Oh my God! Sa life insurance industry yan, ha? Ganyan, life insurance ano? industry. Dami na tulungan to, yeah, marami nang natulungan. Pero nag, saan siya nag-start? Nag-start din siya as a financial advisor. Just like you. ba? So, ibig sabihin, lagi nyo itong iisipin para hindi natin, you know, taken for granted yung pagiging financial advisor. Your job is so scalable. You can actually build an empire. You're going to provide a lot of jobs for a lot of Filipinos. You're going to help a lot of Filipinos in terms of insurance, um, investments, and Income continuity later on. Dahil marami kang matutulungan. So, grabe ang impact ng pagiging financial advisor. You just need to recognize na pag-scalable siya at tinrabaho mo, may kapalit na sobrang laki. So, we cannot afford na maging relax, maging tamad. Kasi a lot of people na masipag, they would take advantage of this. Di ba? Pag na-recognize nila, kaya mapapansin mo, merong iba na uunahan. Nag-start sila parehas as financial advisors, pero yung isa, hindi na-recognize. Kunwari, nag-MDRT na siya. Oh, okay na. Pero yung isa, hindi tumigil. So, ano yeah. nangyari? He was able to build it. Na-scale niya talaga ng sobrang laki. And now, he's enjoying those ano, those moments. So, you have to take note. Diba? Kung if you're a financial advisor right now, tinatamad ka and you're losing your way, think about this. Think about the direction that you are going isa lang ang direction nating lahat to build this empire. Magtatrabaho ka na rin lang, galingan mo na. Galingan mo and na. since gagalingan mo na rin lang, pumili ka ng trabaho na scalable na makakabuild ka talaga ng empire. And this is it. As a financial advisor, so whatever you are in, kung nasa mang kumpanya ka ngayon, dyan ka na. Diba? Dyan ka na lumaki. Huwag ka na maghanap ng iba, kagaya ng sinasabi ni Coach Ron. Diba? So ano ba yung sinasabi mo about the green, green, green? <laughs> the garden, garden? Oh. The garden garden. The garden garden. Ano ano garden garden? Ah, okay. okay. Kala ko okay. beer garden. Kasi, eh. Minsan kasi meron tayong may maling mindset. Yung, oh, yung garden garden. So, meron kasi maling mindset na if only I'm, di ba, I'm, I'm in that company, if only na siya yung if, boss ko. Laging if only, no? Laging if only. Oh, 
we're in in short people tend to look at greener pastures diba? they right. always look for greener past- pastures in reality they just failed to water their own garden ayun sa pool yes. so, i love that quote oh, Sean. very very right. important quotable quotes na naman ng abc mm-hmm. yes so, ngayon guys o oh, ngayon if ever naman na nakalipat ka na okay lang wag ka nang umalis diyan nakalipat ka na eh, di ba nandiyan ka na wag ka nang umalis diyan Water your water that new garden now. Palakihin mo, palaguin mo, and build an empire. Once you were able to build an empire, you are going to be so fantastic. Marami ka matutulungan ng mga Filipinos. And we've seen this happen to a lot of financial advisors na ngayon, para ano na sila? Ang dami nang natulungan, ang ganda na ng buhay. Right? Pero naintindihan ko rin naman yung ibang mga financial advisors na hindi nakikita yun kasi hindi rin nila kilala yung mga ganong ka-big time na. Di ba? Siyempre, ang una nilang kilala yung nag-recruit sa kanila. So, ano, be thankful na you were introduced by your friend to this talk show para ma-realize mo na grabe pala ang pagiging financial advisor. Scalable pala siya. In fact, Coach Ron and Professor Sai, uh, pagiging financial advisor worldwide is one of the top five jobs that can make you a multi-millionaire worldwide. Okay. Wow, if you want to become a multi-millionaire, pagiging financial advisor nasa top five para maging multi-millionaire ka. Worldwide yan, ha? fantastic. So, Worldwide. sobrang ganda talaga. Yeah. Galing, oh, galing. Yes. Short coach, di ba? So, if we're talking about you know, increasing your net worth, di ba? you are in the right industry. Di ba? Yes. You are in the Correct. right industry. You just need to make sure that you do whatever it takes to be better at your job. Tama right. Ba? And in fact, coach, no? In, yeah, coach. Oh, in fact, Coach Ron, Meron tayong kilalang ano, meron tayong kilalang uh, agency leader na financial advisor siya and then na promote na siya as agency leader. And then yung kinikita niya, ininvest na niya sa iba't ibang areas. Meron siyang properties, meron siyang mga yung mga kiosks, di ba? Nag-open siya ng mga ano niya, mga different businesses. Ito problema niya ko, chef. Balita May mo, barbershop pa siya. Hindi niya, di niya alam kung saan niya dadalhin yung pera niya. <laughs> Ayun ang pinakamagandang problema, Coach Ron. Diba? Oh, 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 sarap, diba? Ayun ang mas, masarap na problema, no? Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, so, ano yan? But, you know, it all starts at the very beginning, at the very bottom. You just need to be patient, work hard, tuloy-tuloy ka lang. Eventually, you'll increase your network. At ang maganda sa industry natin, madali kang makahanap ng mga different ways to expand, diversify kasi maraming mga nagtuturo sa iyo. Correct. Hindi ka maliligaw. Just Yun ang maganda doon. Yeah. You just need to be open with it. Di ba? Yeah, yeah. Merong mga early birds, ibig sabihin ng mga early birds, millennials pa lang na discover na nila tong industry na to, tinatrabaho. Meron din mga late bloomers. Ibig sabihin ng late bloomers, late mo na na discover na meron pa lang ganitong napakagandang industriya. Pero it's never too late for you. Once na na-discover mo na siya, it's okay. Kaya nga marami tayong mga retirees, di ba? Mga Professor Sai at Coach Ron, 60, 65 na sila, dun pa lang sila nag-start as a financial advisor and they were blown away. Why? Because if they discovered this when they were still teenagers, then iba magiging buhay nila. Pero hindi sila nawala ng pag-asa. Bakit? Kasi kahit na-retired na sila, nakabuild naman sila ng relationships doon sa 40 years of working nila. Correct. Tama ba? Yung kanilang network of friends. Yung kanilang network of friends. That's network why friends. nag-retire sila and they shared this to their network of friends. They were performers. Biro mo, retirees, pero nagpo-perform and they're earning a lot more compared doon sa nung nag-empleyado pa lang sila. Even, even executives, retired executives, retired bank managers, right? Uh, nagpa-financial advisor because... Ang ganda ng industriya natin. Super right. fantastic. Oh, yeah. Super, super. Oh, yeah. Yon, And coach, last yeah. but not the least, talking okay. about, ano, no, talking about, uh, you know, again, um, increasing your your net worth. Ito talaga yung, madal, ano, sabihin na natin, mahirap, pero pag, pag ginawa mo, you just need to be conscious about it. And this is really all about investing with the right people. Investing with the right people. And when you say investing with the right people, ito na yung kasabihan coaches na when you increase your network of friends, 
na i-increase yung net worth mo din. Yun. Diba? Sabi nga nila, you are the average of the, ano, at least five of your uh, ano, closest friends. Diba? So, tingnan mo na kaagad, di ba? Kung sino ba yung laging mong kausap, sino ba yung laging mong ka, di ba, ka, um, Kasama. laging kausap about, especially about money. Um, and most probably, di ba, pagkaka, nandun na, nandun, wala ka pa man doon, pero that's where you're going. Yung tendency of your, you reaching the height of, ano, having a great net worth, it's gonna be there. Um, and yun yung ginawa natin, coaches, no? Um, ako, very, very important. Ako, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I wanna honor, um, you know, yan, si Prof. Sai, I wanna honor Prof. Sai for, for, ano, being... Thank you, Coach Ron. Being with us, di ba? Kasi, it was, it was kind of accident, pero intentional. Tama ba? Accident dahil, di ba, Coach, di ba? Umaten tayo kay Prof. Sai. Oh, 20, lang 20, 2018, guys. Oh, I remember oh, that, di ba? Sa Ortigas Building. Oo. Oh. Oh, yes, umaten yes. kami ni Coach Jeff sa isang session niya about yun, yung, yung ano, Tax and estate taxes. planning, oo. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Coach Jeff, di ba? We're, we're surprised kasi hindi kami na bore. Tawa lang kami ng tawa. Sabi mo, okay to, okay to bumanat. Ah. Diba? Ganun, nandun kami sa likod. So kami na yung nagpahuli, no? Nagpahuli tayo. Oo. Oh, until, oh diba, nagpa-picture na tayo. Eh. Yeah, oh. we had that picture. Yeah. Oh, introduced ourselves. Tapos, uh, na, ano, na-add, na-add natin sa, ano, sa Facebook si Prof. And after a few months, umaten siya ng Master Closer Blueprint. And doon yung right. nakita na, wow, di ba, na what we're doing, di ba, is really something that can help din doon sa ginagawa ni Prof. Correct. Time. And I Kasama have to say, wife, and I have to say, Coach Ron, I'm thankful with you and with Coach Coach Jeff because yung natutunan ko po, ladies and gentlemen, sa Master Closer Blueprint po, ang laki po ng naging impact. That's why we were also able to expand our business. From one wow. company, we're now doing four companies. Yan. Nice. Wow. Amazing. And amazing. We're, we're talking about, Coach, no? uh, you know, uh, we're talking about, modest lang yan si Prof. Sai, pero I mean, He's closing multi-million deals, you know, because of MCD. Yeah, uh, thank you, Coach. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations, Jen and our Prof. Sai. Also, thank you, Coach. I want to honor, of course, si Coach Jeff. Yeah, si Coach Jeff. Coach Jeff. Uh, when, when I started, when I, when you started, when I had the idea of always be closing, there is no other person uh, who I think I can partner with. Diba? Pero pa ako na pagkwentohan dati, diba, no, Coach, no? Kaso buti na lang, nakwento ko lang, pero hindi niya naisip gawin. Diba? Oh. Kasi, again, uh, ano eh, di ba? You know, all things are created twice. So, you always be closing was already conceptualized years back. Pero it was just talagang ano, it, we, were, we were like a bamboo. Na yung tipong sobrang lalim ng foundation namin. Pero nag-sport kami, it was just, and the rest was history, you know? And ano pa, coach, di ba? We were, we were blessed to have also si Ariel Servillon. Diba? Yes. So I wanna, oh. See Nuno, one, one of our friends, uh, who has now ano, featured us in his book, uh, yung right, ano, right, right. Business Tycoon Blueprint. Yeah. Oh, yes. Be, shout ano, out, shout that out, will Gary. Be a global hit. Tama ba, no, coach, no? So, yes. That will be a global hit talaga. And, uh, you know, abangan niyo po yun. And last but not the least, coach, no, I will have to mention this, is, I know, just today, actually, we finalized Our, our deal today with BMJV. Yon. Tama ba? Uh, we invested in this business. Diba? Kaya kami kumi ng kumi. Yeah, no. That's right. That's right. Love our uh, own. Diba? Love our yeah. own. Yeah. Right, right, right. And so, I want to honor you, BMJV. Um, you know, we we would love to work with you. Kaya, ano? And uh, I think, ganun talaga eh. You know, you really need to surround your sur- yourself with like-minded people people who will add value to you. That's right. Yeah, very important. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, by the way, shout out muna ako dun sa aking uh, long-time friend. He's my college friend. Ang pangalan niya ay si Ron Lozano. Ron Lozano hey, Ron. is a DJ, a radio journalist, radio announcer. Ang dami niya. He's an artist. He's multi-talented and he's watching DJ the show right the now. Coach. I'm uh, sa <laughs> Maybe we can maybe we can invite your DJ friend next time, Coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Invite natin uh, si Ron Lozano soon. He's 
he now has a new uh, show na sinet up niya and I think uh, we can also become guests there dun sa kanyang radio station since uh, Zoom now can be you know can be broadcast anywhere anywhere in the world actually wow. so pwede rin tayo dun. so shout out tayo sa my good friend Ron Lozano who's uh, watching the show right now fantastic Yon. Yeah. Coach, ba- bago ko makalimutan, I also want to thank, diba, again, it's about we talking about yung last ano, factor, the investing in the right people. I want to thank all the leaders from MC to ano ba, AUM to UM to branch manager to sales managers who have trusted us uh, dun sa journey ng, ano, ng, um, ng journey ng financial advisors po ninyo. Uh, you know, for as long as there will be financial advisors, for as long as merong cliente uh, na kailangan ng tulong natin, you know, ABC will be here. And we want to thank you for, you know, really helping uh, us na maging, ano, maging staple name yung ABC. Yun. Staple, ano, training. Tama ba, no, Coach? Right, 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 right. And of course, uh, let's promote a few upcoming master classes natin. Patapos na yung ating uh, March schedule. We have an upcoming class tomorrow uh, with Coach Mike about tactical investing strategies. Yeah, you know, maganda. And uh, that's going to be 7 p.m. That's going mm-hmm. to be tomorrow. Yang tactical investing strategies na natin. It's actually series two. If you guys would like to understand technical analysis or how to time the markets and maximize returns, especially for your clients, then we highly encourage you to enroll. Uh, open pa po yung enrollment. That's going to be tomorrow, 7 p.m. And then learn technical analysis on how to maximize profits, how to... Tuturuan kayo dyan Coach Mike. That's going to be 7 p.m. Send us a message on how you guys can book a virtual seat. Yeah, and that's going to be on Friday. On Saturday naman, we have two master classes that you guys can enroll. The first one would be a free master class na proprotektahan namin kayo from the BIR. Kasi pag dumami ang benta ninyo, marami kayo ma-attract na kliyente. Yun nga lang, Professor Sai, sino pang ma-attract nila? Yun. Pati si BIR, ang arang mga kaibigan natin from BIR would also be attracted knowing that we are earning, that we are already generating revenues. So guys, ang tanong lang, ready ka na ba? Kasi kung hindi pa, then see you this Saturday from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. It's a free master class helping you to close more deals pero at the same time, helping you to be compliant. But before that, before the master class, Coach Chef, banggitin na rin natin, Coach Chef, yung ating uh, uh, master class tax and estate planning for professionals, financial advisors, brokers, especially property owners, uh, masterclass on tax and estate planning, what to do, what are the skills that I can do, especially regarding my high net worth client, paano ko ba sila close regarding their investments, and ano ba yung mga kailangan nating maintindihan o mahalaman to optimize their tax solutions in terms of investments, properties, okay, at lalong-lalo na in terms of acquisitions. Ano ba yung mga dapat natin gawin? Yan. So, that this is coming uh, Saturday then from 2 p.m. to 5 uh, 2 p.m. to uh, 5 p.m. Fantastic. Right. So, if you guys would learn how to, yeah, if you guys would like to learn how to become a, uh, uh, how to target those high net worth clients, meron tayo Master Closer's Guide to Tax and Estate Planning this coming Saturday at 2 p.m. Tuturuan kayo ni Professor Sai on how to close those high net worth clients. Very, very important. Fantastic, fantastic. And of course, meron din tayong session sa gabi with Coach Eva for Coach unlimited Eva. lead. Yun. Oh, if you guys would like to, if you guys would like to tap the unlimited market, sa cold market, we'll show you a way kung paano ka ma-attract ni yung, ibig sabihin yung, yung mm-hmm. inbox mo, Titingnan mo na lang, tas magugulat ka, meron ka mga messages from the cold market inquiring about the products. At ito yung mga, mga Filipinos na interested ng kumuha ng insurance to begin with. O, di ba? So, ma, hindi ka na mahihirapan sa prospecting. If you're interested with that, enroll po kayo. That's going to be 7 p.m. this coming Saturday. Very important. And last but not the least, guys, yung Master Closer Blueprint natin happening on April 10 and 11. 
Mm-hmm. Yan yung complete ABC closing system para maging ABC graduate ka. We'll teach you how to close deals in one sitting. Last early bird po natin is until March 31 na lang po. Okay? After March 31, regular rate na po tayo dyan. So if you guys would like to avail the early bird rate for the April 10 and 11 Master Closer Blueprint Workshop, send us a message para ma-reserve na namin yung virtual seat para sa inyo. Fantastic. Oh, yes. Okay. Nag-overtime tayo ng konti. Nag-overtime tayo ng six minutes. But as perfectly always, fine. yeah, it's perfectly fine. We are always here for you guys. See you guys again next time. My name is Coach Jeff Luspo. And this is Coach Ron. And guys, it's Professor Sai. Thank you so much. And of, and of course, this show is brought to you by Kumi. The number one yogurt drink in the world. <laughs> now in the Philippines. Try it out. Go to your Facebook or go to your, ano, your cell phone. Grab, that. grab. And then grab food ka. Order your kumi. This very hour, meron pa pong COVID. Fantastic. See you guys again. Thank you, Coach Brian. Bye. Always remember. Oh, yeah. Always and remember. remember. Always be